going on with your hair, dude? <laughs> nice and sturdy. One. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey no, 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 no. Don't drink the dirty icky, bath water. Icky, icky, icky. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, ew, ew. She's doing this fight with, me, with her teeth now. She won't. She bites it so I can't get it. You get out? Let's calm down. With the Sit loop. down now. You're angry. Angry. Hello, double O crew. We are, as you can see, at Stony Demonstration Forest for a public hunt. We've got Sharon with me. And this public hunt is going to be very strange because I'm not used to public hunting. But it's the last day of muzzleloader. we got the muzzleloader here. So we waited until about 10 a.m. till most of the other hunter, uh, most of the other hunters, most of the other hunters left the woods. That way we're not disturbing anybody because my plan is to do a little stalk hunting and maybe a drive. And obviously I didn't want to come in early and do that and disturb other hunters. So I'm gonna come in after all the hunters leave, which if you see the parking lot back there at the tip of my finger, there's only one car there and the guy sitting in it he just walked out we were just talking to him so no other hunters left in this woods if they're illegal anyway <clears throat> if they're illegal then i don't care so no other legal hunters left in the woods we're free to come back here and do our drive without disturbing anybody so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to set up sharon with the gun in one location and then i'm going to walk around and try to push deer towards her Safely, obviously, that way she doesn't shoot me. So, we're gonna figure out if we can get a deer public for the me. first time. Well, accidents happen, you know, especially if you're from the ground, which is why we got your climber on my back right now. So, you're up in a tree. So, just a tip if you're ever gonna do something like this, never do it from the ground, always do it from the tree. That way, you don't end up shooting another hunter who's driving the deer towards you. Because if you miss the deer and the hunter's right behind them, then you kind of just hit the hunter. So, yeah. But yeah, let's uh, explore back here and see what we can see. Hopefully we can get our first deer on the first hunt of the season. Well guys, we definitely uh, found a sign of another hunter. That other hunter is not here, but got a fresh gut pile right here. Somebody got lucky. <laughs> That's from probably this morning too. If it wasn't from this morning, it wouldn't be here still, so... It's good. We saw some deer tracks walking in. The trail's right there. Still no deer yet, but uh, we're gonna walk back and set up all the way in the very back. But it's it's just very interesting, this whole public thing. It's I have so many ideas and plans of what I wanna do, but it's like anybody could come in at any moment and mess that plan up. So it's so weird, it's very sketchy. But like I was just telling Sharon here, this trail is heavily used. People walk their dogs on it and stuff because we've seen dog tracks too. And uh, so I was telling her a good method, even on private land, which is where I learned this, is on a trail that's heavily used and the deer are used to seeing people there. Just keep walking the trail. If you see a deer bedded down 50, 80 yards off the trail, just see that flicker of the ear, flicker of the tail, the head sticking up looking at you over a log eyeballs whatever whatever catches your eye you don't stop right then and there i've done this a few times you keep walking act like you don't see them because most of the time if they're used to seeing people on the trail as long as you keep walking and pass they won't jump up and run so all you got to do is just act like you don't see them then there's a deer back in there i see him i keep walking until i get behind this tree boom he can't see me anymore at all it confuses them they're expecting to see me keep pop pop out on that side so that's when you put your gun up, pop out of the tree, boom, shoot. Whereas if you just keep walking like this in the open and they see you and you see them and you stop and look at them, nine times out of 10, they'll get right up and run because you notice them and they see that. But if you stop behind that tree, you confuse them here. You know, they, the deer are extremely curious animals. So you play on their curiosity and it'll give them that extra 10 seconds maybe of hanging around trying to figure out what you are and that'll give you a chance to shoot. But yeah, that's a little tip of the day. All right, guys, we're back here in the real thick stuff. Trail is starting to dwindle away to nothing. 
Starting to hit a lot of spider webs, indicating that nobody's been back here. Starting to see a lot more deer sign tracks, some rubs on the tree. So we're gonna take this trail to the very end, set her up for the drive, see if we can make something happen. Well, we just jumped our first deer, unfortunately. We weren't vigilant enough. It saw us before we saw it. It was about 40 yards back off the edge right here. Went down in that way, but we're coming to the very end of the trail now, so I think we're gonna set her up at the end of this trail. I'm gonna walk way around and push towards her. So let's see how this goes. All right, got my map here. That's where we are right there. So we're on the corner of the property, as far back as we can go. Sharon's gonna sit right here. I'm gonna swing down around here, come over here to the property edge, work my way up, hopefully pushing deer right towards her. They're either gonna run out into the open field in broad daylight, which I doubt they're gonna do. They're gonna choose to come deeper into the woods. So like I said, I'm gonna come down, swing around, come up this property line, pushing them right to her, hopefully. So we have a pretty clear lane the trail ends here. This is the end of the trail. So, I have a lane. Looks like somebody made. Goes about 100 yards up that way. It's a good shooting lane. She's going to get in the stand, the climber, somewhere right up in there. And uh, she'll be able to see this whole lane, hopefully. And if we get enough luck and this plan works out right, we can push a deer right towards her. Okay, so as you can see here, our hunt was successful. We got a deer, but... We didn't get the footage because I handed Sharon the GoPro, as I just put in the little caption there, and it didn't work well. She held the button rather than pressing the button, so all it, all it did was take a bunch of pictures. So we didn't get the deer actually running up and her killing it. Nor did we get the tracking process that I thought I was recording, but she, in holding it rather than pressing it, set it to picture mode rather than recording. So the whole time I thought I was recording, after she handed me the GoPro back after I walked up to her, we tracked the deer, um, we found the deer, I did my outro. <laughs> Turns out I was taking pictures also because she set it to camera mode rather than um, video. So we lost the entire end of the hunt and the most important point, which was actually getting the deer. So that is what it is. Mistakes were made. Man down. We'll get them next time. But yeah, as you can see the picture here, she got a nice little button buck. That's that. So until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. Peace! And the quality will get better from here, I promise.